They've all tested ammonia. It's zero carbon. It works perfect in a jet engine. So why, why aren't we, why are we still using gas? David Menzies for Rebel News here in Halton Hills, Ontario. And you know what, folks? In the greater Toronto area today, gas is about a buck seventy-nine a litre as it inches ever upward to that $2 a litre barrier. But when it comes to my guest, Roger Gordon, uh, he really doesn't care about the price of the pump because his Ford F-350, it doesn't run on gasoline or diesel. It runs on ammonia, and that means Roger is paying about 25 cents a liter. Wow. Uh, let's delve into uh, what Roger is doing right now with his truck to get these incredible fuel savings. Roger, as I said, uh, this is your Ford F-350. Uh, it's a 2001 model. Yeah. And uh, unlike uh, other Ford uh, pickup trucks that would run on gasoline or diesel, yours runs on ammonia. Uh, tell us, what gave you the inspiration to go the ammonia route? We were creating ammonia, using it for the pharmaceutical business. And in uh, 2010, we applied for a patent for a machine in the following years. We've tried to find somebody to partner up with us that's bigger than us. A billionaire from Canada came. He was going to partner up with us. He tries to contact Trudeau. Trudeau won't reply to him. Before Trudeau became prime minister, he sent emails to us praising Green NH3. After he became prime minister, he wouldn't praise us anymore. He wouldn't reply to us. One of the reasons we're paying such a high price at the pump are taxes and especially the new carbon taxes. The Justin Trudeau Liberals are all about the war on climate change, yeah. um, you know, reducing our carbon footprints. As you told me off camera, uh, what's coming out of your tailpipe with ammonia is uh, zero pollution. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, all all is, uh, comes from the uh, using ammonia. Uh, the tailpipe is uh, nitrogen and water. So you would think that the Trudeau Liberals, if they're looking at alternative fuel sources, they would maybe be pro-ammonia. I think it doesn't suit their bosses. We've all heard about the World Economic Forum, and let's talk about people that have way more money than me. This billionaire, he, he says, well, he says, Roger, what if I get in and start building machines with you and we spend a couple of hundred million or whatever? We find out that uh, Trudeau and his, call him his Kissinger crew, they want to be, uh, they don't want it to be anymore. He said, they can pull your insurance, they can pull your bank account. So he says, why would I want to get in bed with you? Maybe Trudeau will find a way to stop my uh, my billions of dollars from happening. And if I were to buy a vehicle today um, and hire someone to convert it over to ammonia, what are we talking about in terms of the price of the conversion and what I would have to invest in in terms of the ammonia making uh, device? To convert the vehicle is very simple. It's, some, it's very similar to a propane conversion. Uh, I'm going to say less than a thousand dollars would convert a vehicle. And you showed us uh, the machine. You didn't want it filmed uh, because you're still in the process of getting a patent for yeah. it. Yeah. So I can understand that. Yeah. But I would imagine regardless of what the cost is, how many thousands it would be for that machine, um, prorated over the life of the vehicle, what you're going to uh, recover in terms of fuel savings will more than make up for that investment. It's 25 cents a liter, so however many liters you're using, the ammonia will cost you, the ammonia doesn't take you quite as far on a liter as a liter of gasoline, but the price at 25 cents, instead of spending 200 or 300 a week for, for fuel, you're spending probably one eighth of that. What does ammonia do for, say, the, the horsepower and torque values of your vehicle? Ammonia is, is around 85% of what gasoline is per liter. If you're going up a hill and you switch back and forth from ammonia to gasoline, you don't you don't feel any difference. And of course, anyone going the ammonia route, you're not looking for a performance vehicle. You're looking to get a great savings on your fuel costs. By the way, ammonia holds the world speed record as we stand today. Oh. It's not lazy or, or by any means. Roger, I think the big picture question is this. If I had uh, you know, the wherewithal to convert my vehicle to ammonia, when will there be a day when I can go to a Petro Canada, a Shell, an Esso, and fill up with ammonia as opposed to gasoline or diesel. Okay, so we contacted Trudeau, Freeland, McKenna, Baines, Mark Carney, and we noticed on this list of all the people we contacted, the ones that belong to WEF wouldn't come back to us. Mm -hmm. Yet if we, if we contact somebody that uh, has no power, they're right there ready, they're, they want to talk to us. But somebody with the power, they don't want to talk to us. 
So uh, I guess, is it a matter of um, the large fuel companies, uh, the extraction companies are committed to, you know, fossil fuels and uh, for whatever reason, they don't see this as a, a money-making alternative. Our theory, I've got consultants, they say, are you so stupid, Roger? Do you not realize what's going on here? These WEF people need to keep the, the, the oil flowing in order to keep the money rolling in, in order to keep their projects going. I know some of the major automakers, uh, Hyundai and Toyota, they're investing hundreds of millions into researching um, hydrogen as a fuel alternative. Uh, I never see ammonia mentioned. Do you think these automakers are going down the right route in terms of looking at, you know, the future and decades ahead where passenger vehicles can run on hydrogen as opposed to ammonia? Hydrogen is, is way too dangerous. If somebody's talking about hydrogen, run away. Honda knows about ammonia, yet they think that they maybe will have to pay somebody to be in the, in the ammonia business. And they say, oh, well, let's, oh, hydrogen, we can go to hydrogen without paying for, for, for somebody. Why not pay a few bucks and, and, and be in, this, in a, a safe fuel rather than a dangerous fuel. You no, know, it's just amazing because uh, we, we see the Justin Trudeau Liberals talk uh, a good game about uh, carbon reduction and getting rid of your carbon footprint and alternative fuels, yet whenever he shows up with his entourage of seven SUVs, they're typically gas-burning Chevy Suburban V8 yep. <laughs> vehicles. So yep. kind of, um, as they say out west, all talk, no cattle. If he, if he would convert those over, at least he would be doing something. All the big jet manufacturers, uh, Rolls-Royce, uh, General Electric, Pratt & Whitney, they've all tested ammonia. It's zero carbon. It works perfect in a jet engine. So why, why, aren't we, why are we still using gas? Well, Roger, you're making a compelling case. I guess, yep. uh, why don't we take a spin, see okay. how this yep. uh, puppy runs? But to me, this seems to be functioning just as a truck should be you functioning. You wouldn't notice any It's yep. a bit noisy just because of the muffler, but that's the same in gas or diesel, doesn't matter. I can switch back over to gas. Oh, so it's that quick, eh? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's instantaneous. Yeah. So in case you were to run out of uh, ammonia and you had to yeah. get... Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Roger, I want to thank you for that ride in the truck. I can tell you, um, I couldn't tell the difference between uh, Ford uh, pickup trucks I've been in my life uh, that are powered by gas or diesel versus ammonia. It seemed seamless to me. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've tested it numerous ways. I've come up that hill with, I put a big load on a trailer, like seven, eight, ten on the trailer, come up. I, I switch it back and forth from gas to ammonia. You can't tell the difference. It's 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 instantaneous. Yeah. And as you mentioned, the truck to me, it's not just vehicles, but we're talking farm equipment. We're talking trains, maybe. Uh, you mentioned planes earlier on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the ammonia solution can uh, be there for all kinds of transportation needs. Roger, yeah. thank you so much for no your problem. time. Thank no you problem. for showing us the yeah. truck. And you know, folks, yeah. I'm going to tell you. 25 cents a liter, uh, as Bob Barker used to say, the price is right, but the only other way you're going to get that kind of price at the pump, well, you're going to have to get a DeLorean with the flux capacitor option <laughs> and go back in time some 45 years. Uh, in the meantime, it looks like ammonia is the solution for a very low uh, cost per liter of fuel. We'll just have to see in the years ahead if this solution uh, does gain traction. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies.